In this tutorial, I want to walk through the process of creating a production build of, Re of a React application. So if you've been following along with the series so far, you know I've made a whole bunch of development builds, a whole bunch of sample apps, but this time we're going to build something that's an actual production version of a React app. And we're going to use GitHub as the hosting place for this. So GH Pages on GitHub, we can do static hosting there. All right, so I'm going to create my React app, React app first. So I'll get that started. And I'm just going to call it prod. There we go. So this is going to create the package. And then I'm going to go into the, the folder. I'm going to leave the basic project the way it is created by this script. Uh, I'm not going to add any features to it. What I do need to do, however, is I do need to edit the package.json file. So if I go inside of this folder, prod, and we list everything, the package.json at the root, this is the one that I need to edit. So I'm going to open up in brackets, I'm going to open up this folder, and here's my package.json file. So inside of here, I need to add a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to have to define a home page. Now, by default, when you're using GH Pages, when you're running React, it's assuming that the root folder is the folder where everything begins. But in our case, when we're going to GitHub, I'm going to have to point to the GitHub pages, and I'm going to have to say that the build folder that's going to be created by this process, that's going to be the one that points to my GH pages branch, and this URL is going to be the one that is the root of everything. So all of my redirects, my routing, will understand the base URL. Okay, so my username, I'll put that in here. And this is what I'm going to call it. So my username, github.io, and then this is going to be the name that I use for my repo. So I may as well go and create that right now. So we'll jump back over into Chrome and production. This is the repo I'm going to create. I'll leave it public. I don't need a, a readme file or anything. I'm just going to, boom, blank repo. There we go. Now the instructions that we get here, this is exactly what I need to do. So I need to initialize my Git repository. Now Web, Webpack will have already done that with my Git repo, but this won't harm it. It'll just reinitialize it. I'm going to add all the files, not just the readme, but all the files I have in my project. I'm going to make my commit of my React files up to the server, and I'm going to add the location of this repo as the target where I'm going to deploy things to, and then I'm going to upload all my files. So I'm going to do these commands in just a minute. Now, one other thing that I need to do in here, so I'm inside the right folder, but I have to add one other tool, and that is you can use npm or you can use yarn. I'm going to use yarn. I'll say yarn add gh pages. So this is one other package that we need to download. We need to have it inside of our package.json file. We're going to be using that to be able to push to GitHub. All right. So right here, GH Pages version 2.0.1. That's what we've just added. Now that is going to need a couple of script commands. One called pre-deploy. and one called deploy. When you run the deploy command, it will automatically run this pre-deploy command. The pre-deploy command, it's really just going to be running npm run build. So the old build command that we could run by ourselves, that's what pre-deploy does. When you run the deploy command, it will run the pre-deploy for us. So for this one, we need to run gh pages dash b or dash d rather and build so this is what's going to do the deploying for us all right so that's it for the changes we've added home page we've added these two lines and gh pages was added to our project those are the only changes that i'm making to this whole project now we could go into source into our app.js and so on and build out the project but for now we're just doing that notice here that there is no build folder so on the command line, if I was to do npm 
run build or yarn run build. Either one does the same thing. When we do that, it runs React Scripts build. This will create here a build folder and an optimized version. Here's the minimized files that were created. This is basically our whole project. And it gives you some other links. So this is where we're going to push it. To do this, we have to run yarn run deploy or npm run deploy. Either one is going to give us this. And I'm expecting it to show up there. Let's uh, jump over and look in the folders or here. I can just look here. There it is right there. So there is the build folder with all of our files. Now they've got a link here. This is going to give you some more information about the deploy process, but it's basically what I'm taking you through right now. All right. So we have done the um, build process. Now we're going to do yarn run deploy. But before we do that, we have to run all those commands. These ones right here. We have to get our Git repo ready so that when we run deploy, it's able to push things up to here. All right, so may as well leave them both open here in the same place. Git init, we'll get the warning about this. It just reinitializes the repo, that's all good. And we're gonna add all the files, not just a readme file. We're gonna do a commit to push everything or to say that all the changes, we approve them. And here's my message. Great, so we've added all those. 101 insertions, great. Now git remote, add origin, and then this is the URL right here. I can just copy and paste this. There we go. Now you will put in your own username and your own repo name at this point, but what we're doing is we're telling the git project where it's supposed to push things, where is the repo located on GitHub. So when I run the command git push dash u for user, we want to be logged in to do this. Origin master. There we go. So it is now pushing all these files in my React project up to here. Okay, so if I refresh this page, there it is. There's our whole project. So we now want to take that build folder, create the build folder, and push it up to here. We need to have the GitHub Pages branch as the place to put it. The default here, if we take a look at the git ignore file, you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff that's being ignored. One of those things is this, the build folder. The build folder will never come up and be in the master branch. So right up here, we're never going to see that build folder. These are the production files. So let's go over here and we'll create our GH pages branch. This will automatically create the GH pages hosting branch for me. If I go and take a look in the settings file here, or the settings page rather, you can see GH Pages branch has been set as the source for the G GitHub Pages site. Here's my URL. I'm going to copy that. I like to put this back on the home page. If we click the edit button up here at the top, we can put the URL in there. There we go. And we save that. Now on the home page for the repo, I have this link. I can right click, open a new tab. Now, right now, there we go. We just have these instruction files. This is not what we want. We want to see our actual site, our actual app. So this is why we added that GH pages NPM module to here. So we can now run that script, which we defined in here. Inside scripts, we're going to run this deploy one. So we can say npm run deploy or yarn run deploy. And it's gonna run this command and it's also gonna run this. So we'll get the latest build 
and then the build will be pushed up to GH Pages. Okay, so let's do that. Yarn, run, deploy. So you can see it's doing npm run build. It's creating the build folder, updating that. Here's the latest version of all the files, and it is boom published. It ran GH Pages D build, and it pushed the build folder up to GH Pages. Come back into the browser. Come back in here. Refresh. Oh, let's come back in here. So now we have it. Here's the index.html file. Here's all the static files. So we have everything that we want here in the GH Pages branch. Okay, it's being a little bit slow, but within a minute, this will be updated. Right now, we're just dealing with a cached version. Here, let's see if we can clear out the cache for this page, because it is a static site. So in the dev tools, if you go to application, you can go clear storage, clear the site data. It'll delete anything that's been cached, so you're guaranteed to have the latest version. And there we are. Here is the latest version. So this is our React app, the production build with the minified files, with all the extra stuff stripped off that we don't need. There it is. And that's it. That's how you take the React app, create a GitHub repo, put the two of them together, add GH pages, update the package.json file, and then run the deploy command, and you're set. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Uh, if you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.